stuff. And just uh, a few words about someone we've mentioned a couple of times, Grace Slick. I mean, she was a real pioneer, wasn't she, when it came to female rock stars and, and that kind of thing in the world. And I know she wrote uh, the foreword to your autobiography, didn't she? So just what was she like as a, well, what is she like as a person and what was she like to, to create music with? Well, you know, uh, a couple of years ago, I got to thinking about it. You know, you sort of take, sometimes you just take your friends for granted. And, yeah, and I picked up the phone and I called her and, and I said, you know, I never told her this, but, but you need to know what an honor it was to play music with you. And she kind of spluttered around because she's not like a soft, fuzzy kind of person. But she was really, you know, both her and Janice, but Grace, because Grace wrote so much, was a really interesting woman in a time when there were women in the music business, of course. But I, I, I can't think of another one that was stage center as much as she was, you know. She was a really interesting person. She's a, she was a beautiful woman, but, uh, but at the same time, and this is probably like, it's a, it's a bad metaphor, but in a way, in the band, she was like one of the boys. I mean, you look at her, she's obviously not one of the boys. I get that, you know. But, but in terms of our work ethic and stuff like that, she was definitely one of the boys. And... The stuff that she brought to the table, I mean, she just listened to such interesting music all the time. I mean, if you listen to her song, uh, Eskimo Blue Day, uh, I, I think it's on Volunteers. I can't, I can't remember all this stuff. But anyway, a lot of her music that she wrote, she was really into Eric Satie, so a lot of the music that she wrote in that period is very asymmetrical compared to the, rock, the, the basic pop rock at the time, which made it really interesting for guys like us to play music with her. I mean, she was really the shit. There was no two ways about it, you know? She didn't suffer fools handily. She had, she had back then and still had today has no verbal boundaries whatsoever. If you're out in public with her, you got to have thick skin because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> I love that. Absolutely love that. Um...